Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Darkest Nightmare Haunt, year 2022. I know it's been a very, very long time since I posted, and yeah, it's almost Halloween already. There's only like 10 days left, but I've already been working on this haunt for a long time, got a lot of it done. Uh, the reason that I haven't been posting is because I'm just busy, I've been working on the haunt, and I haven't had a lot of time to actually do videos. So I'm gonna do a couple quick updates on what I'm building, um, but there's probably not gonna be a lot of content this year. All right, so as you can see, um, pretty much all the walls are up. Well, actually, yeah, all the walls are up. And uh, it's mostly decorated except for um, the actual props in here, as you can see. So let me walk through. This is the dark scene again. And I'm going backwards again, so this would be the entrance coming up. TV is still going to be right there. Window prop again. So yeah, this is the entrance again. This is how it's, this is how it was last year. We just had black plastic instead of um, like any decorations in here. Then you come past this curtain and you're in. Yeah, this scene looks pretty much the same as last year. I'm gonna put something in the corner there. A few more things on the wall right here. But yeah, this window prop is pretty much the same. It's gonna have the zombies on it again. Last year the sound wasn't working on it, so I'll figure that out. Probably put a speaker like up there pointing down so you can actually hear the zombies. We'll have um, another animatronic in that corner, not an animatronic, he'll probably be um, one of the static zombies that I built. Yeah, this dark section is just going to be the same thing again. Um, I have that strobe light up there. Can't really see, it's a little bit too dark. Actually, I can turn it on just, just to show it off. And yeah, this is how this room is going to look. We'll have the curtains hanging down from the ceiling again. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same. Again, we got that, the fence prop that I'm gonna put up. Um, it's just working as an entrance right now. Okay, so yeah, for the new stuff that I'm gonna be adding this year, there's a couple things. Um, the first one is a new projection effect that I'm gonna do. As you can see, I have a projector up there. It's just mounted right above the dark ceiling. And that thing is gonna be shining down here onto this wall. Um, as you can see, I have sheets and stuff. I'm gonna put uh, a light material, probably those sheets, maybe this kind of texture, because I have some extra of that. And I'm gonna put it on that wall. And what this projector actually projects is an atmosphere effects um, tarantulas. So it looks like there's tarantulas on the wall. I don't have a demo of that right now, because this projector takes a, a little bit of time to set up. Um, but I'll hopefully get a demo out to show you guys, or Obviously, I'm going to do a walkthrough video on Halloween, and you'll see it then. The next thing, and this is kind of big thing that I'm going to do, is I'm actually going to make a facade out in front of the garage. So in previous years, it's just kind of been, the garage doors have been open, and you could just see the black plastic. And it's not really themed or anything. Um, so this year, I bought a bunch of this foam board. This is insulation foam. And so these are eight by fours and then two by fours to hold them down. So the plan is that on the outside of the garage, I know I'm on the inside right now, but on the outside, we're just going to, yeah, nail these panels up top and then we're going to hang down and be secured by these two by fours. The panels are going to look like the outside of a house. At least that's my plan. And so you can see right here is one that I already painted and did. And in my opinion, it actually looks pretty good. Now it's a little bit light uh, in terms of the color. However, at night, it's gonna be really good. And I'm planning on shining something, um, another projection effect onto these walls. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Now all I did was just use a soldering iron and draw lines down. And then I just painted it with black spray paint kind of a light coating on it. And I think it looks pretty good. So 
So yeah, those are the additions. I think the facade is gonna come out really good. Um, it's gonna cover the whole front of the garage and I'm gonna do doors in it and uh, windows too. I at least want two windows and um, two doors obviously for the exit and entrance. And so yeah, I'll put out a video when I get that more built up. Right now, I only have that one wall finished. But yeah, as you can see, I'm a pretty much uh, ahead of schedule in terms of this haunt. There's not that much left to get done. Mainly the things that I have to do are put in props and do spider webs and everything like that, the small details, and it should be done. Now the reason I'm doing this um, and trying to get it done so fast is because I'm actually gonna have the haunt open for two nights this year. Uh, one on the 29th of October and one on Halloween. The reason for that is because uh, Halloween is on a Monday this year and I'm not expecting there to be, you know, a lot of trick-or-treaters. I'm not expecting people to be up late on a Monday night. So having it on a Saturday is going to let more people come in. We're going to go later on that night. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing a little advertising at my school as well to hopefully get up a crowd. So... The goal is to have this done by the 29th of October. I think I'm pretty I'm pretty safe with that. We're gonna have it done. But yeah. Anyways, that's just a build vlog. I'm not I'm not not doing this haunt this year. I know. Usually I upload you know somewhere around the first of October, but this year I was just really busy putting this together and didn't have enough time to actually do any vlogs. So expect at least a couple more videos before Halloween. I definitely show off the facade build because I think that's gonna turn out really good. Um, yeah, and other than that, I'll see you in the next video.